Oh, that's right. It's that time. Welcome, everybody, to CCN. That's Couples Cruise News. Let's see. Yes, it is. All right. Today is our New Orleans recap. Yes. We're finally recuperated from Naughty. It was crazy. It was one hell of an event, actually. It was. it was. How many people did we end up having? We had over 2,400 people there. That's a lot of damn people. That's a lot of people. We had to, you know, I had to cut off registration because it was just getting to be too many people. Sometimes it can be too many people. In fact, this year we uh, we did some things to kind of help out. One thing we did was we doubled down on our Bourbon Street parties. We used to do one Bourbon Street party from noon to three and one from three to six. Now we had two from noon to three and two from yeah, the uh, venues here just can't hold that many people, so it split the crowd up and uh, made it very nice. What we did is we had like a loud venue and a less loud venue, so if it was too crowded and too loud in one, you could go to the next one. It actually worked out great. Everybody kind of self went everywhere and it uh, wasn't too crowded this year. It was great. And we also did uh, something new, kind of what we do on the cruise ships. We added a venue downstairs just off the lobby that we did. Uh, karaoke, we had a piano bar in there, we had awesome. a hypnotist in there, we did our annual lifestyle award show, and uh, we had a comedian in there. It was so, so there was a lot more entertainment this year than we ever had, but it also gave room for people to be uh, that weren't in the ballroom, so the ballrooms didn't get as crowded. Exactly, it worked out really well. It worked out great. Not only we have new venues and uh, a lot of new things and new entertainment, we had a new king and queen this year. Yes, it's well, awesome. Every year we have a new king. And yes, queen. but in, in fact, we have them here—not here, but they're here with us by, via satellite. Live via satellite. So, guys, we'd like to welcome you to CNN. Yes. We have a few questions for you, uh, John and Catherine. Hi, how you doing, Bob and Tess? Hi, loyal subjects. All right, here's the first question for a yes. new king and queen. What unique qualities makes you ideally suited to be king and queen of Nadia Norris? You know, we talked about that, and a bunch of people asked us during the event, and we figured it out. We've been coming to Nadia Norris so much and we actually had the pleasure of knowing everybody so well that we were done. We've already been with everybody. So they had to give us king and queen because how else are we going to leave? One huge qualification is that you need to be in the room when we announce the winners. You know, a lot of people think we pick the king and queen way in advance, but we don't. We literally pick them that night. We walk around the ballroom because if we pick them and they're not there, then... Uh, Kind of hard to crown them. Yeah, kind of hard. So, um, where were you guys when we announced your names? We were drinking at the bar, like we always do. <laughs> we were actually in the venue at the time when they said, the next thing up is we're going to announce King and Queen. And I looked at John, he looked at me, and it's like, ah, we never win anything. Let's go get a drink. So there we were. At the bar. Well, being at the bar is a pretty good excuse, I'll say. I think it's the only good excuse to be late for a crowning. Um, but curiosity, I know you guys have been to a few of our events. How many Naughty in New Orleans have you guys actually been to? <clears throat> We've been coming pretty much forever. I think Bob was about 12 when we first <laughs> came. But it was out at the airport. There we were. And we've been coming ever since. And, of course, we were here through the... Uh, uh, Hurricane Katrina went out in Vegas, so that was a lot of fun out there. But we've been here pretty much every single year. Yeah, Hurricane Katrina hit, and they had to move Naughty and Nolan, so it was Naughty in Vegas. It was a lot of fun, too. But we started in 2000, if you want to date. Well, we'll never forget that Naughty and Nolan, which became Naughty in Vegas. Yes, we'll definitely never forget that one. Yes. Um, but speaking of royal courts... Uh, it's time for you to get a royal court to go along with your royal subjects. Well, luckily for us, we already have a royal court and we brought them with us everywhere we go, every place we travel, because we have to get out there to meet all of our royal subjects. And they are fun to take a ball. 
We definitely want to see everybody next year and we're looking forward to crowning the next king and queen unless the rest of you people that I haven't met, I do meet you and then I go for king and queen again. <laughs> There's always that chance. Hey, I hope so. Well, thank you guys for joining us from your amazing palace. They do have a pretty amazing palace. Yes, they do. Where the hell were they shooting at? I'm not sure, but it looks like a great place. Well, next year, I think we're going to have to do a king and queen party. Invite all the past king and queens and not in New Orleans to get together. And I think we should do it in our hotel room. Oh, that could be a lot of fun. We had some sexy ass kings and queens. Yes, we have. That's another big requirement. Exactly. So come join us next year at Naughty and Nolens, July 5th through the 9th. We got beads for you. Absolutely. And some devil duckies. Yes. Ugh. Don't forget the devil duckies. Well, we'll see you guys next time on our next episode of CCN. That's Couples Cruise News.